here come Balonja <laughs> with the jerk. But uh, but we um, this is Ricky Turner. That's the uh, that's the daddy of my daughter-in-law Amy, who married my son Earl. And I'm Wayne. I'm the judge. He's Belanger, because he got he got family rooted rooted in the South Louisiana, in the South Louisiana <laughs> of, the, of the Cajun variety. And this is the first edition. First edition. And the name of this for all you good rednecks rednecks out there is Cajun cooking for rednecks. Is exactly. that right, Ricky? Yeah. So Ricky's going. To, I'm excuse me, Mr. Belanger. Mr. Belanger. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say to the to the people? Out no, out we just said we're gonna cook a cubion. A cubion. A cubion. And how do you spell that? C o u r t b o u i l l i o n. And what is a cubion? Cubion is a. There's different versions. Some Cajuns call a cubion a brown gravy, and a sauce be called red gravy. But the way I was brought up, cubion is red, and a sauce be called brown. And is there a kind of meat that goes typically goes into a cubion? Redfish. A redfish. And red so are we having redfish cubion? We're having redfish cubion that was caught yesterday. Caught yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. <laughs> and who caught that fish? Me. And when did you catch that fish? Me yesterday morning. What time? About 6 30. Was the sun up? Me no. Were you by yourself? Oh yeah. By yourself. <laughs> was it a who? What? <laughs> did you catch it on a fly? Oh no. No. Black and short truce. Okay, have you cleaned it? Oh yeah. So the fish has been clean. Oh, the fish is clean. They cubed up. Cubed up. Ready to go in the court bouillon. Okay. Now tell us what you got going here, Ricky. Okay. Tell we, us where we're. Okay. Now, we you got, got the, something in the pot here. We got yeah. We got the Cajun Trinity, which is bell pepper, onions, and celery, okay. and then also added some fresh garlic, parsley, and shallots. All right. And what's what did you? Is it's cooking now in right, a pot? Right. I just I cut it all up, put it in there, and then put about. Um, a quarter of a cup oil, maybe a little bit less. I don't use any measurements, so okay. I just I just I added a little I put it a little bit in there. It wasn't enough, I added a little bit more, so you just gotta put enough in there to wet the vegetables a little bit and get it cooked. Alright, now I know something all of my redneck friends out there are gonna wanna know. Hey, what's that? Uh was that is this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you need to tell them what is the um uh what what's the percentages of onions to bell pepper to garlic to celery? I only got one bullet left. All right, what's that? I don't want to use it. What's that? If I tell you, I have to kill you. <laughs> okay. Melange. <laughs> Melange. <laughs> You're not gonna tell us what the proportions is. Two onions. Two a onions. A celery heart. A bell okay. pepper. Okay. And about four large. Pods of garlic. Okay, so if one a one uh, little group of shallots. Okay, and so that's 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 the percentages that's cooking in here exactly. right now, right. and that's your only bullet. That, no, you know, no, the bullet. I w I just told you, so I don't have to use my bullet. <laughs> you see, your bullet's gone. <laughs> you shot your bullet. Okay, well, and uh, you were saying something about it sticking to the pot. Yeah, what what, what happens is what I like to do. You see the brown stuff on the spoon right there. Yeah. That's where it's stuck to the pot, but you get it, you get it up. Yeah. You get it up, and what it does, it burns the onions and all the celery a little bit, and it gives it a little bit more flavor. So, so you don't have to really worry about it burning in that pot. No, you just don't let it burn too much. All right. Now, uh, Belanger, when do we know it's 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 done its job here? Uh, when do we know that? I'm gonna tell you when I see it. All right. I don't know. What do you see? I don't see. I see it's not done yet. All right. What? What? What, <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you see when it's done? Uh, I never had any formal training on cooking. I just been doing it all my life. But uh, I guess when we get there, we can maybe describe it. There you go. How about that? Belanger and I, we're going to sign out now? Yeah, we sign out right now, then we go get the redfish out of the refrigerator and get ready to put that in. Let's do it. Now, this is, this is really important. Uh, uh, Belanger has taken out his fish here. And Mr. Belanger, tell them what you got. Okay, we got uh, one clean redfish. You need right to look here. in the camera. Okay, we got, we got a clean redfish here. What I did, I cleaned it yesterday and um, uh, cubed it up. All these uh, big, thick pieces are the shoulder. Um, these little natural splits are the top of the, uh, what I call the shoulder, the right before the uh, belly. There's a big, thick piece at the top that has a natural split in it. And then it goes all the way down to where uh, this is very the end of it where the tail where you can see where the backbone um, 
the uh, vertebrae was sticking out, we're going to end up cutting that blood. Any of the red meat you see is not really good for your cubion. So the light red stuff is not bad. The light red stuff is not bad. Now, the, tell, them, tell them why you say with the red fish, the red stuff is not good, but the light red stuff not too bad. What, what, are, you just, what are you saying? This, this is blood. Okay. This is blood. You don't want blood in your fish. And why not? It's just it's, it's a foul taste. It's just okay. like you don't want in a deer roast. You don't, want to, you don't want to eat a deer that's been run by dogs. Same thing with a, a redfish. It, it fights to survive while it's on your line. It's pumping blood throughout its body. So what you want to do is, that, like this is a really clean piece of meat. Right? This is, Correct. That's, that's not bad at all. But before, if we do use these pieces, we're going to cut all this little red stuff out. I'm this with is, you. This is the very end of the tail. In other words, that would make it a much stronger tasting. This would make it a much stronger uh, tasting. tasting. It's not going to take the cubion. They make it strong, but when you eat the fish, the, I see. When you okay. eat the fish, the fish gonna, will be right, stronger. Right, this, this is going to be real strong. So. All right. Now, uh, we talked while we were off uh, a few minutes ago about other kind of fish that can you can make a kubi on. Grouper. Uh, grouper right. is an excellent fish because it's totally white meat. The big, it doesn't make any difference. The bigger the red fish, the more blood you have in it. A grouper it can get to be two, three hundred pounds. Solid white meat, so a grouper okay. is excellent. This is this is a southern Cajun dish that people were fishing before they even fished offshore. Really? So this is a, a good inland fish. These fish get to be 15, 18 pounds on the inside. This one was probably uh, about the max they get on the inside. The, the, I tuna, say the inside. I say inside waters as opposed to Gulf. Waters. How about tuna? Would that the fresh tuna? Mm, that's never Debatable. tried it. Never tried it, but. Uh, yeah, they come in big slabs. And so, so let's now we, of course, we're talking to a redneck audience here. So they're not going down to Bayou Marchand, whatever you they, are, Lake Marchand. There you go. Okay, Lake Ma Marchand. Lake, they, they, they Lake going, Michon. Lake Michon. They're going to Super One. <laughs> 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 Maybe Albertsons. Is there a way that they can get this kind of fish to make this? Well, I think they do farm redfish. I don't know if they're that big, but uh, the, a, a nice cube like this is real, real good because you can cook it and it won't break up. You can do it with smaller fish, but what happens, and we're gonna get into that later, is when you cook it, you don't stir. Okay. Now you told me at one time that you could special order, yeah, I maybe fish if you if, yeah, at a at some some sort of some ordinary stores. Where if you wanted to do this for a group of people, yeah, that you could get maybe a fish that would be suitable for cubion. Is that right? Yes. Tell, tell us, tell the audience about that. All these rednecks, they don't know anything about this kind of stuff. But farm redfish? Yes. Uh, any seafood dealer, uh, seafood department, uh, any of major uh, retail outlets, they can get that. They can you. get it in special order for you. Okay. But any thick fillet, uh, uh, white. More or less white fish would work. Would work, and, and particularly if they could get a grouper. Particularly if they could get a grouper. If not, they have a look. They, they what we call. A lot of them redneck guys are cool asking. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's what we call SOL. Yeah. Okay.